in case if you want to connect with database in case if you want to make a connection with database steps to connect with to connect with database to connect with database the following steps we have to use the following steps are step 1 you need to load the driver into jvm load driver implementation load driver implementation into jvm first you need to load your driver implementation into jvm so to load driver implementations into jvm there are three approaches to load your driver into jvm there are two approach three approaches so the first approach is using using three ways we can load the driver we can load driver what are those three we know the first one the first one is using class dot for name okay in this class dot for name case what we should do whatever the driver implementation we have the driver implementation class we have to pass here the driver implementation class name we should pass here in case of type 1 sorry in case of first approach and there is one more approach you can use this or by using driver manager dot register driver there is one method register driver using that register driver here you can pass driver instance you can pass your driver instance this is the second approach or else using system properties using system properties by using system properties also you can load the driver from the command line interface from the command line interface from the command line interface from the command from the command line interface we have to pass a query like this we have to pass a query like this java hyphen d driver equal to your driver name driver implementation class and your application name by using this type of system configurations you can load the driver okay you can load driver before going to run application usually command line arguments will pass after the application name right here after your java command you need to use d hyphen d to load driver use this hyphen d to load driver and driver equal to your driver implementation class name you have to pass here then the driver class it will load it for your application okay this is the third approach using any one of this approach you can load your driver implementation okay using class dot for name generally we used to go through this approach okay or else you can go through driver manager dot register driver or else at runtime before going to run your application if you want to pass your driver class name you can go through by using system properties okay by using any one of this approach you can load your driver just it is for what just to load driver okay coming to step 2 once after loading your driver once after loading your driver into jvm what you need to do you need to get connection load driver get connection to get connection this is the second step to get connection again here we have three approaches to get connection from database we have three approaches so how we can get to get connection the first one to get connection 
from database to get connection from database we have three ways one is using driver manager dot get connection here in this get connection method only by giving url you can get the connection in case if you don't have any authentication in your database like while accessing ms access or mysql databases they will not ask us username and password without having username and password just by giving url also we can access our application and in some cases like if you are going to use rkill database must you require to pass username and password fields so in that case you can use this approach driver manager dot get connection here you can pass url username password and one more approach driver manager dot get connection of url and you can pass here properties through this properties file through this properties reference you can pass your url sorry you can pass your username and passwords username and password you can pass through properties reference using properties reference also we can pass so in this case what we should do we need to create a properties file there we need to use user equal to username like if your username is system password password equal to your password then by using properties class you can read this properties file and you can load it into driver manager so first thing you can load driver by using any one of this approach use class dot for name or driver manager dot sorry register driver or else you can go through this system properties once after loading your driver then you need to get the connection to get the connection we have driver manager dot get connection method so in this get connection method if your database if it doesn't requires any authentication like username passwords by giving only url you can access your database if it requires authentication then you require to pass username password this username password directly as a strings you can pass here or else by using properties reference also you can pass here okay so by using these two steps you can get connections once after getting connection you need to create statement then third step we used to call them queries right sql queries how to execute sql queries step 3 first we need to create statement we need to create statement so here to create statement third step create statement to create statement there are again three approaches one is using statement sorry yeah using statement using statement so how to use this statement once after creation of connection using connection dot there is one method create statement using this create statement method we can create a statement okay this one is first approach and we have one more approach using prepared statement using prepared statement by using prepared statement so how we can create this prepared statement connection dot prepare statement 
here actually we have to pass a SQL query while creating statement itself. <coughs> this is the second approach and we have one more approach using callable statements. How to create this connection dot create call it will return as callable statements. So this is the third step this third step is for what if you want to forward your SQL queries to database you require a statement object using this statement object only we can able to forward our queries to database so in first step just what we are doing in case of first step in case of first step step one in case of step one what we are doing just we are loading driver where we are loading exactly the driver into our JVM into our JVM we are loading driver in case of step one in case of step one we are loading driver just whenever you load driver here driver implementation the driver implementation it will load into your JVM then in case of step two what we are doing once after loading your driver implementation here driver implementations here this driver implementations they know how to talk with database so that's why first you need to load this driver implementation here once after loading your driver implementation here you need to get connection so when you try to create connection here by using driver manager dot get connection methods whenever you use driver manager dot get connection method by using this driver implementation your driver manager will ask this driver implementations to get the connection so then this driver implementation they will do what they will bring connection from database and they will give that connection to driver manager then this driver manager finally it will provide us connection here once after getting connection you need to create a statement again that statement where it will create by using this connection you need to create a statement connection dot something create statement if you call it will create one more object here statement it will create one statement here okay it will create a connection here okay when you create statement this statement it will create here again it, it, it will create into your JVM in this statement if you pass any SQL queries here that SQL queries by using help of this connection it will pass to database finally it will pass that SQL statements to database okay so how to pass that SQL queries to database we know how to create statements we know how to create a statement we know how to create a prepared statement and callable statements then using these statements once after creation of your statement here how to execute SQL queries on database 